Okay, folks, decided to make a video on changing the heater blower fan or air conditioner blower fan uh, bar resistor on a seventh generation Toyota Corolla. These cars were made from 93 to 97 in the U.S. market. Um, I decided to make this video because I couldn't find a good one on exactly how to do this. So, as you can see here, I've got the glove box structure removed and part of the AC duct. And let's see, looking under the dash here. This is where the glove box was. And right here... Right here is your... AC blower resistor your, for the blower fan. If your blower fan is not working on all the speeds, you'll need to change this resistor here. So removing the glove box is not too complicated. Um, here's mine. Let's see. There's three screws across the top. You have to take out a little access panel right here on each side. There's a 10 millimeter head bolt there. And then on the bottom, there's a 10 millimeter bolt that goes there. One on the other side. And then right there is a, just a regular Phillips head screw. And then this whole structure comes out. And then right here in the top, uh, this car is a 95, so it has airbags. Right there in the top of the glove box, your airbag connection snaps into that little bracket right there and is secured there. You have to remove that. Um, you also have to remove the kick panel and the door threshold. Um, doesn't really require any tools other than a screwdriver to pry it up out of the mount holes. Anyway, that's pretty much it. This job takes about 20 minutes start to finish if you're proficient with tools. Um, I decided to rig a small tube on the end of my shop back hose here. And while I had the resistor removed, I could see a lot of trash down in the duct up against the evaporator core. Um, you know, leaves and pine straw, stuff like that, that gets in here. And I was able to vacuum most of that stuff out of there, away from the evaporator core. That's always a good idea. All right. Well, that's all. Thanks. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and make a, a post script to this video to show everybody what the blower fan resistor looks like when it's removed. Um, this is my old one here. It's original to the car. You can see uh, the bus on it is badly corroded, but that's not where the problem is. The problem is inside the resistor, the coils inside this particular resistor have gone bad. I only had a fan on speed two and speed three. You know, the first speed and the highest speed did not work. So changed it out. Also, uh, in case there was some questions about vacuuming out the plenum on my car particularly, I noticed uh, after I started driving this car um, that Whenever I was running the air conditioning, um, after I parked the car, it would continue to drip condensate out the drain for more than an hour, which is not normal. Um, that usually indicates that you've got organic debris inside your plenum that's holding water, which is exactly what I had. Um, I probably didn't get it all out of there, but I got a lot of it out. Um, leaving that stuff in there can cause the plenum to plug up 
and then it'll fill up with condensate and leak over into the passenger compartment, make the floor wet. And it can also corrode the evaporator core and cause it to leak all the Freon out. So anyway, um, really the best way to get it clean is to remove the plenum and take it apart and get all of the trash out of there, which is an all day job. I might do that uh, next spring. All right, that's all. Thank you.